Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. Today I'm going to show you how to stretch your calf area if you have a back cramp that's very tender to touch and difficult to walk on after a major cramping the day before or even two days ago. So come get your mat ready to booster and some nice simple belly to use today. <laughs> about the two major muscles at the back of our leg, or we call the calf muscles. The first muscle, the superficial one, is the gastric nemius, which is originally more above your knee, near your hamstrings, originates, and inserts together to the Achilles tendon, all the way to our heel. So it helps our foot to move this way. It's like a tippy toe motion. So when a cramp happens, we go to a density like this, while sleeping at night, being sitting in a chair, getting up, moving, doing excessive exercises without proper hydration or proper nutrients in our body, such as low in magnesium or potassium. And then the deeper muscle, which is the soleus, is underneath the gastric nervous. So it's over here near the tibia bone. So when you touch it, you is the soleus, the most common muscle deeper muscle that gets cramped. So how do we get that muscle to be stretched? So when your knee is straight, so the soleus muscles originally is now on the tibia muscle and it starts to the same tendon as well, the Achilles. So when you stretch the muscle in a straight position, you are stretching mostly gastric muscles. So right now I'm leaning forward, I can feel a gentle stretch all the way to my hamstrings and lean forward. And then you can use a strap to pull it, feel a gentle tug and pull it for 10 seconds and do it 10 times. However, when you bend your knee in a sitting position and you pull, then you can go further, slightly bent knee, not too much bending, and pull it, then you can feel your soleus muscle deeper and hold it again for 10 seconds and do it 10 times. But before you do starting these exercises, making sure you're not having a deep vein thrombosis, which is a major clot that happens usually in our calf after traveling in a plane, sitting for a long period of time, being in bed because you were sick. So go to the doctor and have it checked. So what are the three symptoms for a deep vein thrombosis? It's redness on your calf, very hot to touch, and very tender. And the human signs when you press, you have a recall and a very sharp pain. So now if you're having a major cramp right now and you wanted to stop and kept going for the next two or three minutes, then the best way is to do a, um, an inhibition techniques, which is contract relax. So if you're having a cramp in this position, of course, you're going to go this way. You have to contract the tibialis anterior, which is the front of your leg. So what you're going to do, you're going to try your best to push on your foot on top Hold it so you're contracting this muscle, so automatically our body will have a tendency to relax at the back of your leg. So hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then it will gently relax. Because the more you contract like this, the more you're trying to go to flat reflection or a tiptoe position, you're going to cramp more. And, and when you try your best to say, I'm just going to relax, it will relax. It will just keep on going. So the best way is to, to trick your own body by doing a contract, relax, or inhibition techniques. So pushing on top of your leg will help it relax. Especially for those who are swimmers and they're flipping position already on the plantar flex position. Usually they get cramps a lot as well. So proper hydration is key to prevent as well as your proper electrolytes balances like potassium, magnesium in your diet, or getting some electrolyte drinks. So the next one, after a few days and you're still very sore, you're going to get a bolster, a self-massager. You can use a gentle release deep to the bone and pull it out for the next 10 minutes to release. You can put some heating pads before you start massaging your leg and getting a bolster and getting a self Full rolling technique. So you just gently release it and it feels good. Take a deep breath. 
to relax the muscles more and blow. Always remember, don't over stretch your leg. This is going to be a negative effect as well. So if you feel very sore after a stretch and you feel like it's getting worse, then stop as well. So take a deep breath and back. So sometimes all you need is relax your muscles and take it easy. Re releasing it. Sometimes I know it's annoying, it's hard to walk. And usually after a bad plan, your muscles get really weak. So the next exercise is in standing stretching. Don't find a wall, put your hands out. You're going to lean forward, keeping your knees straight. So right now, you're stretching your gastric nucleus muscle, which is a superficial one. And you take a deep breath and blow. Hold it for 10 seconds and do it 10 times. And then with your knees a little bit buckled, and you lean forward, then you're targeting the deeper soleus muscle and you feel more pain being stretched because it's deeper and this will be the most common to get the deeper cramp. And you hold it for 10 seconds and do it 10 times, take a deep breath and blow to, to utilize your core muscles and your lateral muscles. The next one you can also do, so this is my left leg, the one that had the cramp, with your knees straight, find a wall and lean forward and then you put your foot up on the wall like this and you feel more stretch even near your foot. If you're having plantar fasciitis and having foot pain, some people get cramps on the foot and this is also a good way to release it and it's really painful usually also on the foot, your big toe curls and it hurts. So this is a great way to stretch it out. So sometimes your muscles get really weak after a bad cramp on your calf muscles because you're limping and you're in pain. So time to move them around. So do some heel toe raises. Do it both legs first. Do it up to three sets of 10. Take a deep breath, get the core and go. And now to challenge yourself with one leg, it's gonna be harder. Up and you feel very difficult. So you can use a chair to hold on to do that. Next stretch is we're going to do some downward dog. Take a deep breath. It's like a yoga pose. If you can't reach down the floor, that's fine. Then knee forward a little bit. Crawl down like monkey walk. Pushing your heel down and march. This is a lovely stretch for your calf and to strengthen at the same time. And then when you hold it, knee forward further down. Feel a lovely stretch in your calf. And when you bend your knees a little bit, then you're targeting your soleus muscle, which is very deep. And that's it. Those are the gentle stretching we can do for a bad cramp and how to make it feel better. And hopefully this will help what you're having right now. And that's it for now. Thanks again for watching. I'm hoping all this lovely stretching and strengthening will help your calf pain after bad cramp. If you have any questions, please leave a comment for any future concerns that you're having in your body and I'll try to make a video just for you. Please like and subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell for any future content just like this. Have a great day and healthier you. Bye!